Coral, it's Danny here. And Emma. And today we're gonna to be DIYing these globe pendant lights. This project is awesome. It's out of this world. It's wanderlust to the max. So stay tuned because the final reveal is gonna blow you away. Pretty excited about this. Me too. I think this is such a great project. It's a really great idea to upscale something that we just don't really use a whole lot anymore. Here are the materials you'll need for this project. We've also outlined them in the description box below. So the first step to making our globe DIY pendant lights is we gotta remove the base off of these guys. So you remove your base, I'm gonna remove I'm sorry mine. to Sharon who I sourced this from who very much loves this globe. So the top comes off pretty easily. Now when this pops out pretty cool. This would actually make a really cool thing later down the line. That we could DIY. totally DIY that. I, keep that. I kind of love this. I don't think I've ever held a globe just like this without the base on it. It's like you can play volleyball with it. Oh, no, you're actually okay. <laughs> now that our globes are off its base, we need to cut a hole at the bottom and we're gonna cut a hole at the top. At the top. In and what's kind of nice is that um, <laughs> we have this wonderful Antarctica circle that's gonna act as a great guide for our, for our line. Sorry, our line. Antarctica. Sorry, Antarctica, but you got to go. In order to keep the integrity of these globes, we're actually going to be drilling small holes all around the guide, and then we're gonna use a knife just to puncture it through. So it's like corrugated. Yeah. I'm using a small drill bit here. All right, we're drilling into the world. First one. Okay, I'm going in. We brought in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> because that's gonna make it a lot easier to hold. It was moving around a little too much. Yeah, all right, so let's continue. We're starting to really see our circle come together here. Now I'm just taking a bigger drill bit and I'm just going to give us a cutting point. There. It's a little bit of a saw. Perfect, okay. Now we can, all right, if you wanna try taking a knife there, very carefully. Very carefully. There you go, there you go. Look at that, straight cut through. Love it. So now you're just gonna basically start creating your line across. We're changing Emma's world right now, but we could also change your world if you subscribe to Coral, because we got lots of other projects that are gonna change so your world. So many good projects. One of my personal favorites is when you made a filing cabinet. Oh yeah, the pink one. The pink yeah. one was so nice. It's like pumpkin carving, but way harder. I'm gonna give you the pleasure. Oh my gosh. Of taking my bottom off. <laughs> I'm taking my bottom. Ooh. All right, so we have our bottom of our pendant light finished. So now we just have to do the same thing at the top. Much smaller of a hole though. So in order to indicate how big our hole needs to be at the top, we're gonna be using our pendant lights as our guide. Awesome. We have our pencil line drawn. Same thing again, we're just gonna drill in holes all around here, and then we're gonna cut through it. Did you know that the first globe was made in 150 BC? Huh. Wow, there we go, hold on. All right, so we have the top of our globe cut, we have the bottom of our globe cut. Well Danny, done. Danny. Yeah. Guess what? What? <laughs> Coral piece. <laughs> Bye. Bye. My glove with me. I think it would be worth it to just take a little bit of sand, sand. paper. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the next part is really fun. Are you ready? I'm so ready for it. We get to decide where we're gonna puncture small holes throughout the globe so that the light's gonna shine through it. So well, we Toronto, to because that's where we're from, or as Woo. the locals call it, Toronto. Toronto. What's really awesome about this project is that you can customize it. So you could do all the places you want to go, all the places, places you been. have gone. We should do holes in all of the places that we currently have shows. Fun fact about Coral is that we're also part of a bigger family that produces content and TV shows. Some of your favorites for sure. Hometown with Ben and Aaron. Hidden got Potential got with Jasmine Roth. Ashley and Andy with um, Flipper Flop Flip or Flop Worth. Worth Worth. We'll do all of those. So here we go. We're going to get in. Toronto. Toronto here. Woo! Toronto! Mississippi, Georgia, Texas. And then I think we should just aspire to go some places we want to go. So I'd like to go to Alaska. Ooh. I would like to go to Japan. Ooh. 
You wanna drill some holes? <laughs> Are you afraid to drill holes? No, no. We've made our holes, so the next step is to feed our pendant light through the hole, which can hang from any ceiling source, and it actually has a plug-in so that you don't need to hardwire it. You don't need an electrician to do it. Ah, uh, there we go, Danny. Yeah! We go. So we got her through. And so the important thing here is you want to use an LED bulb because LED bulbs, they can be on for four or so hours yep. and not get hot. Okay, so we have one down. We've got two more to go. Are you ready for the challenge? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our DIY project. Honestly, it looks so awesome. And you could put this anywhere. You could do a kitchen, you could do a living room, you could do a bedroom. If you're going for a wonderlust look, this is the project for you. To infinity and beyond. Me, 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 me. Hey, Coral. Danny here. I just itched my nose as we did this. Let's try again. Be a part of our community by clicking subscribe and commenting below if you made this project.